And again and again, around the world, whether it was in Africa or Asia or in the Eastern Bloc, women taught us that economic power was the first thing that women needed to succeed. And that after you had economic power, everything else flowed. It wasn't a question of, I need health care. They could buy health care. It wasn't a question of, I need bodily integrity. They could walk away from that abusive relationship and not suffer. So there are ways, I think, of thinking about women's issues that are slightly different and that maybe we need to learn from elsewhere in the world and step back and say all these, all these issues are integrated for us. There really aren't, as Joanne said, any women's issues. But if I had to say what women's issues should be moving forward, if we had to focus on something, I would say women should focus on the economy. Women should focus on job creation and on financial equality to men. And that when we have that, then we will be able to get everything else on our agenda. Everything else that we're working for, from education to health care to bodily integrity, all of these things will follow from economic power. And we need to make sure that our candidates understand that they can't just be talking about things that half our population, our men, are not going to be listening to or not be putting value on. We need to be talking about it, the economy. We need to be talking about how to get jobs going here again in Massachusetts. And when we do that, when we do that, we'll become part of the mainstream, we will gain power, and we will be able to elect people who represent our needs and our concerns.